Control access to records learning objectives. After completing this unit, you will be able to list the four ways to control access to records, describe situations in which you use each of the four record level security controls, explain how the different record controls interact with each other, set record wide sharing defaults to control access to records. Record level security. To control data access precisely, you can allow particular users to view specific fields in a specific object, but then restrict the individual records they are allowed to see. Record access determines which individual records users can view and edit in each object they have access to in their profile. Ask yourself these questions. Should your users have open access to every record or just a subset? If it's a subset, what rules should determine whether the user can access them? Let's say you created a new profile called Recruiter to give recruiters the object level permissions they need. You restrict the power to delete recruiting related objects so recruiters will never be able to delete these objects. However, granting recruiters permissions to grade, read or edit recruiting objects does not necessarily mean recruiters can read or edit every record in the recruiting object. This is a consequence of two important concepts. The permissions on the record are always evaluated according to a combination of object level, field level and record level permissions. When object level permissions conflict with record level permissions, the most restrictive settings win. That means even if you grant a profile, create read and edit permissions on the recruiting object, if the record level permissions for an individual recruiting record are more restrictive, those are the rules that define what the recruiter can access. You control record level access in four ways. They are listed in order of increasing access. You use org-wide defaults to lock down your data to the most restrictive level and then use the other record level security tools to grant access to selected users as required. Org-wide defaults specify the default access of access users have to each other's records. Role hierarchies ensure managers have access to the same records as their subordinates. Each role in the hierarchy represents a level of data access that a user or group of users needs. Sharing rules are automatic exceptions to org wide defaults for particular groups of users to give them access to records they don't own or can't normally see. Manual sharing lets record owners give read and edit permissions to users who might not have access to the record any other way. There we can see the org chart, manual sharing, sharing rules, role hierarchy, organization wide defaults, visibility opens up. The visibility and access for any type of data is determined by the interaction of the above security controls based on these key principles. A user baseline's permission on any object is determined by their profile. If the user has any permission set assigned, there are also the baseline permissions in conjunction with the profiles. Access to records a user does not own are set first by org-wide defaults. If the org-wide defaults are anything less than public read-write, you can open access backup for certain roles using the role hierarchy. You can use sharing rules to expand access to additional groups of users. Each record owner can manually share individual records with each other using the share button on the record. We have already seen how to configure object level and field level access using profiles and permission sets. Now we will look at details of various record level security controls. Org wide sharing. Org wide defaults specify the baseline level of access that the most restricted users should have. Org wide defaults to lock down your data, then use the record, other level security and sharing tools, role hierarchy, sharing rules, and manual sharing to open up the data to users who need it. Object permissions determine the baseline level of access for all the records in an object. Org wide defaults modify those permissions for records a user does not own. Org wide sharing settings can be separate for each type of object. 
or quite defaults can never grant users more access than they have through the object permissions. To determine the awkward defaults you need for your app, ask yourself these questions about each object. Who is the most restricted user of this object? Is there ever going to be an instance of this object that this user shouldn't be allowed to see? Is there ever going to be an instance of this object that this user shouldn't be allowed to edit? So here we can see another chart. Who is the most restricted user of the object? Is there ever going to be an instance of this object that shouldn't? This is user shouldn't be allowed to see if it's yes, sharing model is private. If it's no, is there going to be an instance of this object that the user shouldn't be allowed to edit? It's yes, sharing model public read only. If it's no, sharing model public read wide. Based on your answers, you can set the sharing model for that object to one of these settings private. Only the record owner and users above the, in the role hierarchy can view, edit, and report on those records. Public read only, all users can view and report on records, but only the owner and users above that role in the hierarchy can edit them. Public read write, all users can view, edit, and report on all records. Controlled by parent, a user can view, edit, or delete a record if she can perform that same action on the record it belongs to. When the awkward sharing settings for an object is private or public read only, an admin can grant user additional access to create by setting up a role hierarchy or defining sharing rules. Sharing rules can only be used to grant additional access. They cannot be used to restrict access to records beyond what was originally specified with awkward sharing defaults. As an example, let's go through and answer the above list of questions for the position object in the recruiting app. Who is the most restricted user of this object? A member of the standard employee profile. All they are allowed to do is view a position. Is there ever going to be an instance of this object that this user shouldn't be allowed to see? No, although the values for the minimum and maximum pay fields are hidden from standard employees, they are still allowed to view all position records. Is there ever going to be an instance of this object that this user shouldn't be allowed to edit? Yes, standard employees aren't allowed to edit any position records. Since we answered yes to the third question, the sharing model for the position object should be set to public read only. By repeating the same exercise with the other recruiting objects, you can easily figure out the appropriate org wide default settings for them. The standard employee profile is the most restricted user for each object, and there are going to be candidate, job application, and review records that particular employees won't be able to view. Consequently, the sharing model for the candidate, job application, and review objects should all be set to private. Note you can set the org wide default for the review object because that object is on the detail side of master detail relationships and a detail record can automatically inherit the sharing settings of its parent. So in our app, the review object is automatically set to private. Set your org wide sharing defaults. You use org wide defaults to specify the baseline level of access that most restricted users should have. In setup, use a quick find box to find sharing settings. Click edit in the organization wide defaults area. So there we can see some standard attacks use the different org wide default options. For each object, select the default access you want to give everyone. To disable automatic access using your hierarchies, deselect grant user access using hierarchies for any custom object that does not have a default access of control by parent. By default, a role hierarchy automatically grants access to records for users above the record owner in the hierarchy. Setting an object to private makes those records visible only to record owners and those above them in the role hierarchy. 
Use the grant access using hierarchies checkbox to disable access to records to users above the record owner in the hierarchy for custom objects. If you deselect this checkbox for custom objects, only the record owner and users granted access by the org by default receive access to these records. If grant access using hierarchies is deselected, some users such as those with view all and modify all object permissions and the view all data and modify all data system permissions can still access records they don't own. Note update. The rockwide defaults automatically runs sharing recalculations to apply any access changes to your records. You receive a notification email when the recalculation completes and you can refresh the sharing settings page to see your changes. To view this update status from setup and to view setup audit trail in the quick find box and then select view setup audit trail. Once you have locked down your data with awkward defaults, the resulting settings might be too restrictive for some users. You can then use the remaining record level security controls like hierarchy, like role hierarchies, sharing rules and manual sharing to open up records access selective to specific employees who need it. Tell me more. Apex Managed Sharing allows developers to programmatically share records associated with custom objects. When you use Apex Managed Sharing for any custom objects, only users with a modify all data permission can add or change the sharing on that custom object's records. And sharing access stays the same even if the record owner changes. For information, see Apex Sharing. Hands on challenge. Configure organization by defaults. You have been asked to create a custom records object for a tracking project. The project custom object records should only be visible to the owner of the record and users above the owner of the role hierarchy. Create the project custom object and then create the unorganization by defaults for the project object to accommodate for this use case. Challenge requirements create custom object with the following settings label project, plural label projects. So let's do this. Go to setup. Create custom object with the following settings, like a project. We have the object manager. And we create a custom object. Named project. Configure organization wide defaults for the project objects. The project records are only visible to the record owner and users above them. So let's go to the sharing settings. And have a look there. I'm sharing for projects. Do you have it here? I don't see it. Oh, there you have it.
Okay, now I'm gonna put this down here. So let's make this private project object. Save it and see if that's sufficient. We already see here uh, like grand access using hierarchies was checked. And this is checked. So that should be sufficient. I hope. But here's still public read right so And I've got a new here, certain operations and might not be available. Interesting. Why is that? What do we see here? It's private. Let's see if this already is sufficient or not. But we need to do anything additional. If you and your sharing modes, we can create some. That is already sufficient, so we are done here. We can tackle the next unit.